students today's topic is from plus one chemistry chapter some basic concepts of chemistry and our topic name is nature of matter the entire universe is made up of matter and energy if we have to define matter then anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter everything around us for example book pen table sugar cubes iron rod water air are composed of matter because they have mass and they occupy space so matter can be classified into two ways physical classification of matter and chemical classification of matter so first we discuss physical classification of matter so depending upon the physical state of matter it can be classified into three types namely solid liquid and gas all the substances around us can be classified by using our one or more senses so first is solid state a solid has a definite shape and definite volume thus solids are generally hard and rigid for example wood table copper rod common salt etc second is liquid state a liquid has a definite volume but not definite shape a liquid takes the shape of the container in which it is placed for example water milk oil etc third is the gaseous state a gas neither possesses a definite volume nor a definite shape it occupies the whole of the volume of the container in which it is placed for example air oxygen hydrogen carbon dioxide etc so if we classify these substances according to the particle nature of matter as we know matter is made up of particles so in terms of particle concept of matter solid is a substance in which the particles are closely packed and the empty spaces between the particles are very small so due to this they have highly ordered arrangement and this gives definite regular shape to the crystals so also due to this close packing the attractive forces among the particles which is also called interparticular forces are very strong in solids but in liquids the particles are packed and the empty spaces between them are relatively larger from solids so due to this loose packing the attractive forces between the particles are relatively weak which allow the particles to separate from one another so that is why they have definite volume but do not have definite shape they take the shape of the container in which they are placed so the third state is gaseous state in which the particles are very loosely packed and empty spaces between them are very large as a result the attractive forces between the particles are very very small as compared to those of solid and liquids so the molecule of gas move here and there in the vessel and therefore gases do not have definite shape and definite volume these three states of matter are interconvertible by changing temperature and pressure on heating a solid changes to a liquid and on further heating the liquid changes to the gaseous or vapor state in the reverse process a gas on cooling liquefies to the liquid and liquid on further cooling freezes to the solid 
our second classification of matter is the chemical classification the chemical classification of matter is based upon its composition on the basis of chemical composition matter can be classified as pure substances and mixtures so first of all let's discuss pure substances pure substances consist of single type of particles all the constituent particles of a pure substance are same in their chemical nature for example copper silver gold water glucose sodium chloride or common salt are some examples of pure substance these substances are formed from the single type of constituent particles the constituents of pure substances cannot be separated by simple physical methods like filtration evaporation distillation sublimation mechanical separation etc these can only be separated by chemical or electrochemical methods pure substances can be further classified into elements and compounds so first of all let's discuss what are elements so it is the form of pure substance that contains only one type of atoms it may be defined as the simplest form of a pure substance which can neither be decomposed into nor built from simpler substances by ordinary physical or chemical methods the common examples of elements are hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur iron etc there are about 118 elements known at present out of these 92 occur naturally and the remaining prepared in the laboratories elements are further classified into following types first is metals these elements are generally solids and possesses characteristics such as bright luster hardness except mercury which is a liquid and ability to conduct electricity and heat these are generally malleable that means these can be beaten into thin sheets and ductile which means metals can be drawn into wires some common examples of metals are copper iron silver gold aluminum etc about 80% of the known elements are metals second type of elements are non metals these elements are generally non lustrous brittle and poor conductor of electricity except graphite and heat the common examples of non metals are carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen etc third type of elements are called metalloids these are the elements which have characteristics common to both metals and non metals the common examples of metalloids are silicon arsenic bismuth antimony etc after elements and their types let's discuss about the second type of pure substance that is compound compounds are the pure substances containing more than one kind of element a compound may be defined as a pure substance containing two or more than two elements combined together in a definite proportion by weight and which can be decomposed into its constituent elements by suitable chemical methods for example water always contains hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of 1 is to 8 ratio by weight similarly carbon dioxide always contain carbon and oxygen in the ratio of 3 is to 8 by weight compounds may be classified into two types compounds may be classified into two types as so first type of compounds are inorganic compounds these are the compounds which are obtained from non living sources such as rocks minerals etc 
for example common salt which are which we use in our houses for cooking marble washing soda etc second is organic compounds these are the compounds which are obtained from living sources such as plants and animals all these contain carbon for example carbohydrates oils fats proteins etc so up to now under the chemical classification of matter we discussed pure substances which are further of two types elements and compounds so under chemical classification of matter second type is mixtures mixtures contain more than one kind of pure form of matter known as substance thus a mixture may be defined as a combination of two or more elements or compounds in any proportion so that the components do not lose their identity many of the substances present around us are mixtures for example sugar solution in water air tea brass and alloy of copper and zinc soft drink soil etc are all mixtures mixtures are of two types homogeneous mixtures heterogeneous mixtures so let's discuss homogeneous mixture a mixture is said to be homogeneous if it has a uniform composition throughout and consists only of one phase some examples of homogeneous mixtures are air sea water brass etc so air is a homogeneous mixture of number gases such as oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide water vapors etc petrol or gasoline is a homogeneous mixture of liquid hydrocarbons alloys such as bronze and steel are homogeneous mixture of metals second type of mixture is heterogeneous mixture genus if its composition is not uniform throughout these mixtures consist of two or more different phases these have visible boundaries of separation between different constituents even with naked for example a mixture of iron fillings common salt and sulfur gives a heterogeneous mixture smoke is a mixture of carbon particles and air the carbon particles can be easily seen in air that means it is a heterogeneous mixture here are the some differences between compounds and mixtures so take a quick look on the difference so students that's all about nature of matter so if you like the video please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for further updates thanks for watching